Hi, I'm Annie Smith coming to you from Quilt Market. I am an Aura philosopher. I love Aurafil thread, particularly Aurafil 28 weight thread, which I use on all of my machine applique. So I have a new book out with C&T Publishing. This is the Ultimate Applique Reference Tool, which is similar to my book that came out 11 years ago, but that book is out of print. And so they asked me to do the reference tool. It made um, every all the information in the original book more concise and distilled it down into this little format, which fits on a tabletop. And it's really wonderful because it's spiral bound and it lays flat. There are a couple of features to the book that I want to share with you, and that is, you know, have you ever gotten a supply list where you're not quite sure what the notions are that you need? This will tell you all the notions that you need for applique, and then a list of what their names are so that you know what they look like, and oh my gosh, there's my Aurafil 28 weight thread. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of the instructions in the book are photographs so that you can see what I'm talking about, see where I place my hands so you know exactly how to do the, the technique step by step. And then because I teach all over the place and I teach machine applique, I came up with this little idea in conjunction with the reference tool. In that I like teaching essential machine applique and so I use soft fuse fusible web and then we do a little stitch sample so you can learn how to get the perfect stitch on your sewing machine and then you make this little multi-layered flower so that you learn how to stitch on the outside and the inside of curves how to go around a tight curve and then also how to do the points on leaves. And then because you need to have thread tails for everything because you pull the threads to the back and then knot them on the back, there's a little self-threading needle that goes along with it that allows you to pop your threads right onto the top of that needle to thread it. But the value add with this is the three spools of Aurafil 28 weight thread that is added to the kit. And so, you arrive at a class, learn how to do the essential machine applique technique, and get a chance to work with beautiful 28 weight Aurafil thread, which is a little bit thicker than the 58 weight thread and has such a beautiful sheen on it. I think you can see the quilt behind me, which is all machine applique with, of course, the beautiful 28 weight Aurafil thread. I'm always amazed, Annie, because your stitches are impeccable and they're all so evenly spaced and they're just, it's just remarkable. Well, and then I'm going to share with you how I do that because I have a sewing machine set up and I'm doing machine application while I'm in my booth so that I can demo what it looks like. So I'll share that with you. Yay, thank you so much. Okay, so I have the 28 weight thread in the my top thread, but I also use it in my bobbin. And then I use an 8012 needle. And that's kind of important because the 9014 needle is just a little bit too big. And so it hits the edge of the fabric. And so use an 8012 Microtex Schmetz brand needle. And then I choose a blanket stitch on the Bernina. And then I always keep the needle in the down position and then I raise the presser foot to be able to pivot to go around curves. So let me go ahead and do this for you so you can see how it works. So I know that my next stitch is going to be a straight stitch and you only ever want to pivot in a straight stitch. If you pivot in the as it zigs over, it'll either open up your stitch like this or it'll cross over it like that. Okay, so either that or that. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch. And I'm using an open toe applique foot so that I can see at all times where the needle is and where it's going to be stitching and framing my applique. 
and so sometimes I only take two stitches and sometimes I only take one but I'm always pivoting in the background fabric when it's taking a straight stitch and I don't just zoom around a curve like we used to when we made garments because then it will open up the stitches as well so this is a really patient process but it's a meditative process and i really really love doing machine applique perfect let's go in and get a close-up on those stitches again see if i can get my okay there we go all right it's beautiful okay and so see so you can see how i'm going around an outside curve and how i'm coming around to do an inside curve and you know the most wonderful thing about machine applique is that if you have really tight curves like this and this is a real tight inside curve you can make them absolutely beautiful which is a hard technique to get when you're doing hand applique because there's so much um, of the seam allowance that's tucked underneath. And this is raw edge fusible machine applique. So everything is raw, nothing is tucked under, and then I just go around it and give it some beautiful stitching, which is made better with Aurafil 28 weight thread. Awesome. I just love it. And for people who have not seen it yet, Annie does have two collections with Aurafil. Um, Love is spoken here. There are two colorways. Um, the summer set, summer which set, is the hot colors, right, and the winter set. Yes, which are the cool colors. Yeah. And they're really just like remarkably beautiful range of colors. The summer set is one of my favorites because it has all these rich reds and fuchsias and oranges. Mm -hmm. um, well, and the quilt of the same name is going to be in the special Aurafil exhibit here yes. at festival called um, Aurafil Love of Thread. Aurafil Education Love of Thread. Yeah. And on Thursday and on Saturday of festival, I'm going to be giving two gallery talks from 11 to 12. And it's going to be the same talk, so you can either catch it on Thursday or catch it on Saturday. Excellent. But I'm going to be talking about the significance of all the symbolism that's in Love is Spoken Here and how I make it. Oh, that's wonderful. So everybody should. If you're here, absolutely check that out. And if you're not here, I think that Karen Miller, um, who is uh, oversees our Aura Philosophy program, will yeah. be there, and she may actually broadcast one of those on Facebook. So cool. stay tuned. I, that's yeah. wonderful. And you know what? If you do come to festival and you come to my gallery talk, the gallery talks are free. You just have to show up. Please say hi and let me know that you saw this Facebook Live. Yay! <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, Annie. Have a wonderful market, Thanks. and we'll see you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.